we are making Salamastro mashed potatoes. So I have all my potatoes here washed and prepped. I'm gonna just chop them right up here on the number four cone. <laughs> the number three cone, the french fry cone. Um, any blade works, it's all preference. I'm chopping them into my three quart with the inset. I'm making mashed potatoes for dinner and lunch. Um, so leftover, so three average sized potatoes would probably be enough for two. I'm doing five large potatoes, and that's enough to fill my basket, my inset. So um, I didn't even peel mine first because a lot of the nutrients is in the skin and it's going to cook and soften enough that um, you won't even really notice it in there when it's all blended up. So I just made sure that edge is clear so that there's no food on it, no potatoes left over on it. If you want to make these more diabetic friendly, you can rinse them, which I'm going to do. I have a bowl of water here that I'm going to just rinse them off in. A quick rinse and I'm just going to starch out which makes it a little bit more friendly for us, right? And I'm going to just cover this, put it on our stove top right on a medium temperature. Mm -hmm. Maybe right on a medium temperature. And let this go. Alright, so it should start clicking, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so, and then another 10 to 15 on low. Your potatoes will be tender enough to mash. I do have a tiny bit of water down in there. If you can see that, I have about, I don't know, a half inch of water, if that, down in the bottom of my pan, just so there's enough moisture to make the valve click and for the potatoes to absorb. And that'll be our mashed potatoes. Once, when, once I'm done, I will, or once they're tender, I'll come back and show you what I season them with. But that's what's going in there right now. Gonna mix our and mash our mashed potatoes now. So I'm gonna just drain the water and dump my potatoes in here. I'm gonna add my seasoning. So I have some onion powder here, probably about a tablespoon of onion powder. And then we'll do about the same in garlic powder. Some paprika here. Apparently. I'm going to do a little bit of seasoned pepper in there. And I know I grew up eating uh, mashed potatoes that were blended with sour cream or milk or cream cheese and you can absolutely do that. I'm going to make some with some non-dairy milk in here or coconut cream actually. All right, so I can get that nice um, fluffy mashed potato-y creaminess that we all love. So you can um, do this in another bowl with the blunt, like a beater so that you can get nice whipped mashed potatoes. I kind of like them chunky, so I'm going to add a little bit of the coconut cream to this. That's great. Okay. Give it that creaminess. So mash until they're smooth to your liking and enjoy. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks.